I had to become a Freemason because you can't get involved in Satanism on the hardcore level without first being a Freemason. That was my official shrine portrait, which they took as part of my initiation. I was ready to become involved in hardcore Satanism. What did that mean? Well, that meant I had to sell my soul to the devil. I had to sign my name on the contract in blood. I had to sign my name in the black book. I understand something. The satanic doctrine here is that hell is not what we believe it is or what the Bible teaches it is. The satanic doctrine is that hell is this incredible party. It's like a nonstop, all eternity orgy. So you're, you're smoking dope, you're fornicating your brains out, you're listening to rock and roll through all eternity. And it's party hardy time. But before I could get onto the priesthood of Satanism, <coughs> excuse me, I had to get seven people to sell our souls to the devil. The other thing I had to do, and this might astonish some of you, is I had to become a Catholic priest. I had to go back to my original vocation because you cannot be a satanic priest unless, first of all, you're a Catholic priest. And if that surprises you, I just suggest that you go and you read some of the medieval literature. You'll see that that is, in fact, the case. Masons are like homosexuals. They can't reproduce themselves naturally. They can only, yeah, amen, they can only recruit. You know, think of that. That's the way with every cult. If you know someone who's a Mason or if you yourself are a Mason, realize that when you kneel at the altar of masonry as an entered apprentice and you take that oath, you are adopted into the family of Lucifer at that moment. Now, you don't probably know that. I did. But most people don't even know that. And as a result, if you're a Christian, and mind you, there are pastors that are doing this. There are deacons that are doing this. There are countless Christian lay people that are doing this. You cannot serve two masters. And if you understood the profound relationship between witchcraft and Freemasonry, you would know what that cord, that cable tone meant, because they've got a rope around their neck. And what that means in witchcraft and the occult is that is a symbol of the umbilical cord of the mother goddess, the queen of heaven, linking her to her hidden child. So this guy has just been born again by the queen of hell, the consort of Lucifer. Every mason has this happen to them. And they don't understand the dynamics, probably 99 out of 100, but they still go through it.